Who are you on the phone to? Vincent. Oh, Vincent. Might have known he had something to do with it. What now? We wait. This better not be one of your stupid games, Ronnie. Well, who is it? You wanted to know the truth? There's no backing out now. <sighs> Hello? Charlie? Charlie? Oh, you have no idea how happy I am to hear your voice. Excuse me, Pam. I ain't never seen Fat Boy Quiet. Okay, well, look, thank you for calling and I'm glad you're okay. All right. Bye. Well, he's well, in case you were interested. And he still wants a divorce, so that should put a smile on your face. Do you know what, Ron? An hour ago, I thought that knowing Charlie was alive, I thought would make everything okay. And now? He's scared of you, Ron. <laughs> the father of your child is so scared of you, he doesn't even want to set foot in the country. Really? Good. So what? So? Charlie might still be alive. But you, Veronica, you still need help. Look, man, I'm... Do you know, ever since I can remember, I have been weighed down by the feeling that I've got to keep you safe. And I'm exhausted with it, Roxy. Well, if you're exhausted with it, then stop doing it. Yeah, if I'm making a mistake with Dean, then just let me make it. I can't do that. I know. I know you can't because it's never really about protecting me. It's about controlling me and... You know, I used to think it was when you lost Danielle and then I thought it was about Jane. Don't you dare bring them into this. No, but I just thought, you know, when you had someone of your own to really look after, maybe you'd let me go, but you've got Matthew and you're still trying to pull my strings. This way you tell me I'm just like Dad. No. Dad never killed anyone, did he? <sighs> you are unbelievable. No, seriously, you are unbelievable. Saint Roxanne, sitting up there on your high horse, do you not remember why I did to Carl what I did? I had no choice. And the only reason me and Charlie split up is because you bedded him while I was still in hospital. I'm not a saint. I never said I was a saint. I make mistakes. I, I go for the wrong blokes, and so do a lot of people. But what you do is different, Ron. It's different. It's like a whole nother level. Look, it always has been. It always has been, ever since we were kids. Are you ever going to let me forget that? No! No, I'm not. Because I have to look at this in the mirror every single day. Just a little reminder of how much you think of me. I love you! You know that! Nothing says I love you like a glass in my face. I'm sorry! Just save it, Ronnie. No, Roxy, I'm sorry, all right? I really am. If I could turn back the clocks, I would. Because maybe that is where all of this started. What? All of what started? Your need to self-destruct. Your feelings of low self-esteem. Are you a psychologist now, are There's you? There's got to be some reason for it, Roxy, because I am telling you something. It is not normal. It's not normal for you to set your sights on every single bloke that your sister has. It is not normal for you to want to end up with some low-life rapist. To me. The only reason you're with Dean is because you think you're not worth more than that. And the sad truth is, Roxanne, you're right. She used to lock me in my room for hours. 